Hello there, welcome to Prof. Neil. A special episode, our 60th, 6-0. 60 weeks you have been premiering every Friday without fail. Words are all you need to avenge a debate defeat. The story for today, Mardi Gras, 1989. The National Inter-Inter College Festival hosted by IIT Madras was where we were heading for on board the Tamil Nadu Express from Delhi to Madras. Madras was known as then as now Chennai. We meant a team of 8 to 10 students and I. I had just joined Poo Sai in 1989. I was making my debut. I hardly knew them. Now I was given the charge of taking them to the competition, managing them for the competition. But as I always maintained that it's not in the classrooms where the teacher and a student establish their relationship. It's always outside the classrooms, on the sports field, in these sort of activities that they have, and the long train journeys. So here, here we were eight to nine of these teenagers, and I had hardly 24. And uh, we had won, I had, I had achieved, but Pusa had won awards up north in the IIT and the BIT festivals, etc. We done very well, hence we were invited for the IIT Mardi Gras festival. So on the train was lively, to say the least, two nights in a day. And all the elderly passengers in the train were enjoying my students practicing their dumb shallard, their just a minute, their skit, their etc. all the other activities. A lot of fun, singing, etc. The other activities include a lot of fun. But I was betting on Meenakshi Ramanathan and Rajat Kapoor for getting me the medals. They were the duo who were, who were going to represent us for the debate and the elocutions. Once they got us the medals, the others would chip in with the points. That would be enough to get us a name on the honors board. That was my prayer, my hope. We would get, at least get a podium finish. <clears throat> Typically like any other college fest, the events are held probably late, around afternoon time. Evenings are meant for the, the host for a cultural program or a noted musician perform this guitar, that sort of thing. And team size has to be smaller because the hosts accommodate us. So one, one person has to be versatile, every, has to have a door, foot in every other activity. Having a master's mastery in one activity and having a little bit of versatile in other fields. So that's how teams are composed for the intercollegiate competitions. The spent sleep was a premium. The time that we spent in com com competing during the uh, post lunch till the evening around uh, 5 and then we had to go and enjoy the uh, evening, the performances of established internationally famous musicians and rock bands. So then sleep was a premium. So we had spent the time from around uh, 11 at night for 3 o'clock in the morning preparing for the next day. Of course, we lived off sandwiches, dosha, idli and sambar with built steaming cups of, not cups, tumblers of filter copy and cigarettes of course. But the debate and the elocution, despite our best efforts, we did not get a medal. I was disappointed, disheartened for Minakshi and Rajat had put in the best. But I don't know why we didn't make it to the medal tally. But youth being youth, it doesn't regret, doesn't look back, just looks forward. No regretting and no weeping. We went out shopping, we, we that included a then included a drive to the beach at midnight in a student's acquaintance car. And we went almost to the point where the sea kiss, kisses the sand at midnight on Marina Beach. But all everything was forgiven, but one thing was not forgiven. On the train I could make out. On the first day we slept throughout making up our sleep. In the evening when he got up, the derogatory remarks that all the other colleges, the IIT Delhi, the IIT Bombay, the Bits Pilani, the Sri Ram College of Commerce, the Hindu College of Commerce, Stephen's College, LSR, Miranda House, you know all the top Ivy colleges of our country and of Delhi especially. 
they are passing snooty remarks on us saying cooks, waiters, etc. steward etc. and Bhusa from Pusa that hurt though the team was laughing and cheerfully getting along but deep inside there was a resentment that we had to get even we shouldn't get mad should even and uh, luckily for us an opportunity presented itself the YMCA the Young Men's Christian Association was making a was organizing a competition the college competition the mock United Nations Assembly Council Assembly I forget but where each college had to represent one country and speak on its behalf fortunately for us Nirbhik Goel had returned back to campus after the industrial training. Now Nirbhik and Rajat were chosen. A pity, because it was a two-member team only, a pity Minakshi Ramathan could not make it, was seeing these three in a Jugal Bandi would have been fantastic. <coughs> now Nirbhik and uh, Rajat complimented and supplemented each other so well. <coughs> they were roommates, they were soulmates, they were inseparable. They were best, best friends, they still are best friends. And Rajat typically is the person who goes for the jugular, he, does, he just is an artillery person. He'll bombard the opposition. For Nirbhik then to being the sniper, sniper, insensibly he will cut down each and every person. He'll take his aim carefully and bring down each and every person while Rajat, after Rajat, has done, Rajat has done the damage. So the derogatory remarks at Mardi Gras was not forgotten because all those colleges were still going to be there at YMCA. So it was endless hours of practice that Nirbhik Rajat and I spent on the lawns, in the mess, in my office. We lost track of time on uh, preparing for this event. The enthusiasm was very high. 300 students from the college had volunteered to go and score every library, every newspaper room archive. To get us that knowledge, data about the countries that were the opposition was fielding and and the country that we were going to present. On the big day, as I sat sat on the the space near the participants for reserved for the teaching faculty members or the man who would be escorting the teams, I could not help but look at the snooty language. The derisive, the derisive comments, the derogatory comments being passed by the same participants, the same uh, Ivy College on our team name being announced and the country we had chosen to represent. We had chosen to represent, IHM and PUSA had chosen to represent Colombia while they all had chosen to represent the big European countries, United States of America, Australia, Canada, etc., China, India. It was a sight to see Nirbhik and Rajat. I mean, Rajat as usual, the artillery and then Nirbhik the sniper. Nonchalantly tear each and every other college or every other country after they made the presentation. But they had no knowledge on Colombia to raise a point against us. We sailed through. It was, I mean, we, it, was, it, was, it was so nonchalant that we did not even raise a sweat. We slaughtered them. I mean, these two slaughtered them. Full credit to Rajat and Nirbhik for this. It was a sight to see. It, they slaughtered them. It was a massacre. Absolute massacre. Uh, even before the results were declared, Nirbhik and uh, Rajat looked up at me and smiled and gave me a thumbs up. And I was already up there giving me a thumbs up and smiled to them. And upbeat was the mood of the Aichampu sites and sitting in the audience. No sooner were the results declared, which was just a formality, I could hear a rumble of the first, I meant, I meant a rumble of the first lyric of the IHM war cry. It goes like, in Pusa, in Pusa, and then it's like a Maori war dance, you know, they, they stamp their feet and the rest of the lyrics are not printable, they are not worth print, being printed. And all these IHM Pusa students, they dance down the steps in, 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 the, in, the, in the right, in the noses, under the noses of the competitors. 
they did the jig say in pusa and the entire hall was reverberating with that in pusa in pusa war cry i mean those who heard it know what what it it means it, it really it really lives of the place it is have you seen this uh, new zealand rugby team and the new zealand kiwi the new zealand uh, cricket team do a little bit of a war dance sort of thing that they stamp their feet and then they do that maori sort of dance is something similar and beating all these colleges in their backyard was one of the most satisfying experiences for us madhigra 1989 turned out to be a blessing as we had our revenge cold though we were invited there because we done very well in competitions earlier just one bad day we learned there's always pride before fall and arrogance ensured that the mightier fall even more harder the most important lesson don't get mad get even and revenge is a dish best had cold we had it cold and it was most satisfying for us nirbhik and rajat you can understand the caliber nirbhik a mayo college ajmer alumni rajat saint xavier's calcutta alumni Nirbhik's last assignment in India was as managing director, Barclays Bank of India. Rajat today is the vertical head of GE in Illinois, a vertical that supports the banking systems of US. Embrace humility on winning, to enjoy being graceful in defeat. Thank you very much.